We are now joined by the one and only Joiner Holmes. Joiner, first question before we get to anything, how's the ankle feeling? Um, so far, so good. I mean, I have a doctor's appointment on Friday, so hopefully I get out of this boot and then I'll be ready to go by when we play South Florida. So, yeah. Coach was saying if it was March, you'd be out there yeah. on the court. <laughs> so hopefully it's not too bad then? Yeah, no, it's not bad. Um, I just tweaked it a little bit last week in practice, so I'll be all right, you know. <laughs> I'm a tough girl. <laughs> Talk a little bit about your off season. You had a, finally had a chance to do a full off season and have some continuity. Talk about the things that you're excited about for this year and the changes people might see in your game. Um, I've really worked on my outside shot, so pull up jumpers, um, elbow jumpers, the three point shot. Um, I've really tried to expand a little bit more, but I'm trying to find my touch around the rim as much as I possibly can this year. You know. Um, me and Charlie both. Uh, I think I'm trying to get in the paint as much as I can in the stretch of defense when I want them really. Can I ask what you told Joanne Allen Taylor before today's game <laughs> to um, get her to play this well? Whatever make sure she eats. First and foremost, make sure she eats. She doesn't eat a lot. So um, making sure she ate something in pregame. But um, just go out there and be herself. You know, she's playing in a different position, different role, obviously. Um, but she's doing so well at it, you know, to be so young. Um, taking over from what Shook's been doing. She's listening a lot. Listen really well. You know, most young players think they know everything, so I love Joanne for that. She's doing great in her position right now, you know, playing hard and just trying to attack. I told her, just keep attacking. They can't stop you, so just attack. How about this three-point shooting by your yeah. Longhorns right now? Where's this coming from? Yeah, I, know. I was sitting on the bench, and I was like, well, you can definitely tell we've been shooting this on me, you know, for sure. You want to get in on some of that, too, this season? <laughs> yeah, I'm hoping to, but, you know, Karen, she's not really big on me know, shooting out there right now. <laughs> she wants you down low. Yes. Underneath. Yeah, and Charlie Collier right now struggling with some fouls in this game, sitting on the bench. But talk a little bit about the one on one competitions you guys had this summer and kind of the development of, of maybe a little bit of a rivalry, but, but really growth in each other. Pushing yeah, I each mean, other. me and Charlie, every day it was a battle, you know. Some days we come in not really feeling it, but you know, we had to both battle it out and go at each other as hard as we could because, you know, this day was going to come, the season was going to start, and we just had to go hard. Um, I mean, some days are better than others, you know, for sure. But I think she's doing really well. You know, we've made each other better over the summer, and it was just us two the whole summer. So, you know, we're trying to push each other as much as we can. I know you're proud of LaShawn as well, yes. LaShawn Higgs, who, you know, she's she's had a couple, maybe a week where she felt a little bit down, and she's really come to play today. Yes. Um, LaShawn, you know, LaShawn is going to be LaShawn each and every game. I'm so happy that she's back. We were just saying right before the we broke out to come out to start, um, it was her first game back, and I know she's really excited. She's been waiting on this. So I'm just happy for her progress and everything, you know. She's came back really, healed really fast to be ACL injury, so I'm happy for her. Do you want to do any play-by-play -play here in the final minutes of the third quarter? Is that is that your long-term interest here to, to uh, join us courtside, calling the game? I'd rather do, like, you know, after the game, <laughs> <do> the interviews <laughs> and stuff, the easy stuff. <laughs> I know okay. what I don't want have to know. Think you, what? You've had a chance to be in the huddles here this afternoon, second uh -huh. half and at halftime. Talk about what Karen's telling you guys for this game. Um, just keep attacking, you know, keep going downhill. You know, we're in four out and we look a little stagnant right now, but also I just have to realize and remember that we're all young, you know, in the locker room earlier, I was a little upset. I'm like, we should be playing a lot better than this, but we have different groups, you know, and I have to understand that, like, it's not the same people that I've been playing with for two and three years. It's different people and we're young. So I just have to be patient and know that we're all coming, we're working progress and we're coming together, but coach has really been big on just the effort and the details, um, we kind of came out earlier like we didn't scout them, and I know we did really well. So we should be playing a little bit better. And just detail, I know we need to focus in on detail. We're really young, though, so that's expected. Three minutes to go now in the third quarter, and the lead now to single digits for the Longhorns. Mm -hmm. Found the Lady Shaps. We've seen a lot of foul trouble yes. from Texas early. You know, we were talking about Charlie Collier, who got into some foul trouble last year as a freshman, is kind of continuing tonight. What do you think that's due to? How can she correct that? I don't know. Honestly, I've, I've experienced my fair share of fouls, so you know me. But um, I think it's just a big, a big mental piece of she has to know that she's fouling and she has to know that she has to let things go. I think that's our big thing this year is just learning how to let things go. And I don't think she's really bought into that yet because sometimes you don't really realize that you're actually fouling. But looking at it on the sideline, like I told her in the locker room, like you're fouling, you just got to ease up on certain things. And just, I know Karen's told us it's not going to be easy for us this year working with the people that we have and the numbers that we have, but you got to learn to let some things go, you know? And one more player I want you to talk about is a young lady that's uh, at the free throw line right now, Jada Underwood. I know you guys spend a lot of time together. She yeah. has really improved, I think, over this summer and gotten stronger, better conditioned, and it's showing. Yes, I agree. Um, Jed has always had it in her, you know. Um, 
But, I mean, being my roommate and being one of my closest friends that I have here and coming from the same hometown, um, that has improved a lot, you know? And it's surprising because um, she wasn't really in practice a lot this summer with her teaching internship. But she took the time she had and with the time she could do stuff, and she did a lot on her own this summer. So I'm happy for her and I'm proud of her. Um, she's taking on a big role right now. I know she's playing in and out of the four, and she doesn't really like that, but <laughs> oh well, she just got to do it. <laughs> taking one for the team. Yes, as always, you know? You know, she's part of this senior class along with you you know this is this is your last run here on the 40 acres yeah. has it hit you yet yeah most definitely every day I think when I wake up but I think especially um, the first scrimmage it was like wow like this is really it you know and then now from every moment I wake up in the morning I'm like well you know I got to cherish every day I get because this time next year I probably won't be here I'll be cheering them on but um, I'm just happy I stayed my four years and stuck it out you know with everything I've been through and I love Coach Ashton, I love the coaching staff, I love the players, and just happy to be here. And I'm going to take this very surreal moment each and every day and just try to get better on it. I would I would imagine it's it's a good thing to have that sense of urgency that it, it, it's <laughs> now or never for y'all. Yeah. She keeps telling me that I look like Amani, like Amani finally got it and clicked for her yeah. senior year. So uh, I'm like, compliment. whatever. As long as it clicks, you know, I yeah. think that's the best part. <laughs> Emma Middleton with a bit of foul trouble takes a seat on the Lubbock Christian bench. Texas up by 11. Less than two to play here in the third quarter. Good, Jada. <laughs> How about that move? Good, Jada. You tied that one, right? <laughs> <laughs> you know, she has been a sneaky player over her career for the Longhorns. Hasn't always started. A, a career high 17 starts last year. But she brings a certain energy and a fire to her that, that's tough to find elsewhere. Yeah, that is a strong-willed person. Um, she's a strong-willed woman. Um, she plays hard, you know? She has some things that we don't know about her yet, but um, I'm hoping to see those oh, this yeah? season. Oh, yeah, I know. Yeah. Yeah. The beans. Tell. Like, I mean, just certain <laughs> things that she can do, you know? People have probably haven't seen her because she's just been in and out, you know, with the people that been, have been in front of her and stuff like that. But that is a good player. I mean, I played with her up until I got to here, so I know a lot about her that y'all don't know. But I think that's for y'all to see and not for me to tell. <laughs> right, at least with a microphone on <laughs> yeah. there. How about Celeste Taylor, the freshman, you know, coming in highly touted. You know a thing or two about those high expectations coming out of high school. What kind of advice have you passed along to her? Um, I tell Celeste a lot. Um, she's a fast guard. She can play really well, and she sees the floor really well for her age and just for the experience that she's had. But she's been put into a big role as well. Like, she's starting the game right now and because we got a few guards out. But um, she's just done great. You know, she's taking everything day by day. She listens really well, and she takes everything. The other day I heard her in an interview say I'm the most important person to her, and I was just really shocked. You know, because you never know the impact you can leave on people in the short little time that you have. So, um, but she's growing each and every day, and I think she'll be a big asset to our team this year for sure. How difficult was that pressure you dealt with coming out of high school as a, a top two player in the nation and all eyes upon you? Yeah, I was telling Celeste the other day, I was just like, honestly, not Karen tells me this all the time, but it's like, I was just out there, you know, I was just doing yeah. <laughs> whatever came to mind. I was just trying to support the basketball as much as I could and play the best defense I could. So I think that's what Celeste is out there doing right now. You know, she's learning. And it's kind of hard coming from here, from high school and being the best player and then you get here and there's so many players that are just as good or better than you. So I think um, just living up to the expectations that you have. Um, but you got four years here to prove yourself. So I'm taking all those. <laughs> Well, we're about to run out of time with you. Less than a minute to go in the third is Joanna Good job. Taylor. Good shot, Joe. 21 points now. Yes. What do you need to see out of your teammates coming up in the final quarter? It's crazy because me and Zach had a workout before this, and we said she was going to have 18 to 6. She oh, really? Over exceeded our expectations. Um, but just continue to play solid defense here. Um, we got just got to stop. Great premonition by you. There's the defense. Good finish. <laughs> Help her out. <laughs> I, I see coaching in your future here. I can I hear it. I do not it. want to coach. I don't know. Coach tells me that all the time, but I just, I, I coached this summer, actually. I coached Westlake High School. How did that go? It was fun. I loved them. I hope they're watching. I loved them. Did, they were great. Did you have a new appreciation for Karen Aston after that? Yeah, most definitely. Yeah. What was the most surprising thing about that coaching experience? I think for me, being a college player, how much they listen to me. Um, we listen to Karen because we have no choice. We have to, you know. <laughs> right. And you want to, of course, right? <laughs> Although I'm still looking for coaches' pitches on Google of when she played basketball, but the, they're, they're somewhere they're there. They're there, yeah. huh? <laughs> but yeah, I think they listen really well. Um, their high school coach was my AAU coach. 
So I tried to help out. Final 30 seconds of the third quarter right here. Ali Schulte. Underwood on Schulte with 15 seconds to go in the quarter. Got that hand right in the face. Here's Matty Chitsey, the senior. Back to Schulte. Down low, finding a wide open Madeline Turner in the final seconds of the third quarter. Can Texas answer? Joe Allen Taylor. Oh, comes up short. Joiner, we thank you so much thank for you. joining us and enjoy the fourth quarter. Best of luck getting healthy this season. And we uh, look forward to your coaching career as well down the road. I sense it's the future. Thanks thank you so much. <laughs>